Hello Lola's! <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. I guarantee you, you will not be disappointed. Please click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And guys, if you're not following me on Instagram, please, please, please follow me on Instagram. My name is the same, Miss Serenity Smith, because a lot of times in video, sometimes depending on the lighting, it's kind of hard for you to see the details of the babies or see the babies up close. And I do take a lot of photos, so Instagram is the place to be. So that is that. Also guys, I am definitely pushing for you guys to every, I want everybody that subscribed to me to be a part of the chatterbox the chatterbox is a member a paid membership it's only a dollar and 99 cents a month less than a or order of fries and or a bag of chips for that matter these days and you do have to be 18 years or 18 years older the chatterbox is for our dolls Mainly, however, I do talk about girl topics, women topics, life topics, just general stuff, story time, all that stuff. We do that live in the chatterbox. Anything happens in, it's like whatever happened in Vegas stays in Vegas type thing. So that is what we do in the chatterbox. Um, I guarantee one live stream a month just so I don't overpromise but I usually come in a little bit more than that. Um, so if you don't see a join button next to your subscribe button, there's a link in the description bar. Also guys, I have some great news to share with you guys, but I want to introduce Phoebe to people that are new to my channel really quick. So let me explain. Phoebe is my forever baby. She is not for sale. She will never be for sale. She's painted just for me. I totally experimented with colors and all that stuff with her. Um, like I always tell you guys, you know, with silicone is very tricky, um, it's very unpredictable and very unforgiving when you're painting. So here and there, she may have some little niches there, you know, imperfections, but overall she's my perfect baby and I'm going to keep her, but she is the Willow Sculpt, sculpted by Claire Teller. Um, her website is ClaireTellerDolls.com. Um, the Willow Awake and Willow Asleep editions are now sold out. As far as I know um, however if you want to see what this sculptor has in the future I always suggest that you subscribe to you know get the notifications and emails to be the first to know um, so that's what I do and so I suggest that you do the same um, but this one was painted by me so I bought her as a blank and painted her myself now this particular doll I did not root I had someone else root it for me um so speaking of blank kits and you know just the different there's the price ranges vary from you know with blank kits it just depends i mean you can get bubble kits you can get um beginner kits you can get um intermediate kits you can get advanced kits you can get whatever it's out there i've been doing a lot of research trying to find where everything's at what the price ranges are um the um and sometimes you know i know they say you get what you pay for but sometimes you do get a little bit more than what you pay for and everything price is definitely a personal preference so i'm not gonna really get too much into that because you know i buy from all different ranges um some of my babies may cost you know a hundred dollars to you know well, i ain't gonna say a hundred dollars not in this hobby we wish but um you know, may cost from anywhere from maybe eight hundred dollars up to you know fifteen, twenty thousand. You know what I mean? It just depends. So anyway, with that being said, and silicone, real quick, silicone is the most expensive out of reborns and silicone. So if you want a lifelike doll that feels nice, look good, you can dress, have fun with, role play, reborns is going to be the way to go but if you're willing to pay a little bit more sacrifice a little more you want that feel you want to be able to put it in water you want to be able to you know maybe possibly have a drinking wet armatures that type stuff silicone is the way to go all right so now let's get her change oh and for my news um i have been given an opportunity to do my first prototype 
Um, this is for a budget baby. It's a full body silicone baby preemie. I will be doing the prototype of the second, what is, I forgot what we called it. Oh my gosh. Anyway, it is, it is a, uh, the, the sculpt came out a year ago and now the sculpt is being, um, revised and, you know, making some changes to it to make it better or whatever, different, you know, uh, so I will be doing the prototype for the Genesis sculpt from, um, DMH Studio. So, I will get to do that. It'll be my first prototype. It'll be a preemie. I don't have any details. I'm not going to sell it before I actually get it. I have not even seen the sculpt in person yet. So, um, more than likely, I will, when I get the sculpt, I will do a box opening of just the blank. So you guys can see where I start from and then I will go from there. It's my first time, so, you know. Soon I will have a website up so you guys can, because a lot of people keep telling me I need a website. Um, even before the prototype opportunity, people have been telling me I need a website. So trying to keep up with all the different social medias has been extremely hard for me, guys. And so I may be like kind of like abandoning certain sites because like I started like a business page on Facebook, but I have a Facebook group. And then I have a my Facebook page. Um, my Facebook page is normally full, so I have like 5,000 people on that already. And then I have my Instagram, and then I have my group. And you know, amongst all those people, I get tons and tons of messages, which I don't mind, but I also work a full-time job, so it's hard for me to get to everyone. Um, and then a lot of them go into like spam folders, if you wanna call it that. And I don't even see them unless I go looking for them. So, um, I am going to try out the website thing. Even though I don't feel like I do as much selling as most people, I still think, you know, I'll give it a try so I can be able to say, hey, this is where it's at, you know, or have the link in my description bar. But yeah, I'm really excited about it because this is a very affordable, um, she sell blank, blank sculpts and they're, these little ones are gonna, or they, well the baby is supposed to be like 17 inches or something like that. I'll have all the details, um, later, but, um, they're between like 400 and 600 dollars. Well, this particular one, she does have some more that costs a little bit more, but, um, you know. So they're really affordable, especially for people that's learning, trying to learn how to paint. Because originally, when I saw her, uh, this it was actually this sculpt. It was a booboo baby up for sale, and I was like, you know what? That's a good price. I can afford to pay that to to practice, because I don't want to practice on a very expensive kit. Um, so, but something didn't happen I don't know and then it was just like okay well I didn't end up getting that one so I ended up getting another uh silicone that that was on sale around the same price and I painted that one that was baby Serena for the first time so um so yeah if you're thinking about painting yourself or you're looking for something that you can afford to pay for the kit and pay for the painting then it's, you know, it's a good option for that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's like I said, it depends on what you're looking for in your sculpt. But I am not going to, I cannot speak too much on um, the sculpt or anything like that until I actually see it in person. Um, but I can tell you this, <laughs> anything in that price range in silicone, as long as it's got it's all its fingers and toes, I think you're doing okay. But, but, um, I'm not going to say anything. Y'all know I, I, I ain't going to tell you just go out and get anything now. You know what I, so, but yeah, so I'm really pumped about it. Um, I've, you know, I have had some other, like, offers to do prototype before, but 
I just, you know, I don't know, at the time I just either didn't feel comfortable or the, um, I wasn't rooting. And I will try to root my own silicone. I'm rooting silicone right now, but I won't, root. I don't like to write root vinyl. Um, I am, I do have a baby that I am going to finish rooting, but I really don't mind the, the silicone because this, everything about the silicone is like a one step, if if it makes sense. I mean, it's not one step, it's, it's harder. I mean, it's more tedious, it's, it's a, a scarier process of painting, but like once you finish painting your baby and matting your baby with silicone, you can play with it. There's no stuffing it. There's no putting them together. There's no after step. Um, the same with rooting. Once you root the baby, you're done. There's no sealing. There's no glue drying. You're done because you can't, there's no way to get inside the head to root, to seal it. So you're done. So I like that. Um, I like that there's no baking with the silicone as well. Like I like the silicone process is just scary and tedious. <laughs> um, that's, you know, that's the, it's a lot of rules and you can't do this. It's like, you know, being in a chemistry lab, like that's, you know, that's how I feel about it. So I don't know. I, I really, I'm really trying to get more into it. Um, and who knows, you know, uh, this may open doors, you know, for other opportunities and other, you know, things, you know, it might put me in a different direction. Um, oh my God, I knew I was going to love her in this. I knew I was going to love you in this, baby. Oh my God, she is so cute in this. Um, I have another one for Ada. It's a little bigger. I bought it a little bigger. But then I said, shoot, I should have got my grandbaby one of these. And then this is the problem now. Having a granddaughter, oh my God. Like I, I said, baby, grandma gonna go shopping just for you in, in just a minute. Every so often I want to go buy her stuff. I didn't, at first when she was first born, I didn't buy her a lot of clothes. But now that she's you know, getting bigger and stuff like that. Now it's like I want to buy her more clothes. I bought her some clothes, but not the most of the stuff that I bought for her was not clothes. It was more practical. But thank you to all my subscribers that sent her gifts. They sent her clothes. So she did end up with a lot of stuff. Um, but I am, I, I said, oh, I got to get her one of these. Oh, it's so cute. Um, let me get, I got a little pillow for her. But yeah, so that was my good news. Um, and I want to say thank you to everybody that's on Facebook that did, you know, see the information and, you know, did, um, show, show support. And, um, you know, congratulate me and stuff like that. Um, you know, like I said, everybody have to start somewhere. So I am excited. I, you know, I'm not a big, uh, clout chaser, but I, I don't think, I think it's more opportunity in this than that. Um. The, um, also, um, I don't have the details on it, but also, um, it's going to be a lot going along with this, um, prototype. So I'll be glad to share that information with you guys as well, because, um, according to the sculptor's pose, she's actually going to do a giveaway as well with this new kit or not new kit, a uh, second edition kit. So I thought... Huh, that is really cool. So somebody's gonna win a kit too, um, a free kit. So that it's gonna be a, 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 a interesting ride. I'm looking forward to the journey, and I hope to take you guys with me on that journey, and we will see where it go. Like I said, again, I do want to 
I'll reiterate that I do not have any details or specifics of what skin tone or how I'll be painting it and you know the size or anything or how I'll be doing the whole process is kind of like working as I go but um thanks guys for watching I hope you enjoyed watching baby Phoebe get dressed as she doesn't get to get on camera as often with changing videos but there she is and baby Noah is up next because I have him also a similar outfit <laughs> to put on so Again, like I said, thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. And make sure you do subscribe. Leave me a comment, guys. And um, if you have any questions or anything or any topics that you want me to do, um, also leave that in the comment section or send me a uh, message. Thank you. Bye-bye.